So kind of a weird video and I don't really know what to make of this. <laughs> um, my trainer called and said she had to meet a client out in Cedar Lake um, at what everybody calls the, the monastery. And I've never been back here. There's a big for sale sign out front and rumor has it that a developer is trying to snatch up the land to make houses. And like, I'm against it anyway, because <laughs> Cedar Lake has more than enough houses, you know? <laughs> uh, you might not, but now you do. There's, there's too many to begin with. So like, cap it off. Anyway, um, that's not what we're here to debate. I want to show you guys this property because I honestly believe at this point, if they tear this stuff down to make something out of it, like houses or a Starbucks or whatever, it's an injustice. I wonder if the people who own the shrine, I think they're the same people, the shillings, um, if they would be able to come out and save this property because this is like the shrine, but a, like an original, an OG version. It's really cool. I'm not sure exactly what this body of water is. There's like a big lake. It goes all the way around. Um, it's not Cedar Lake, but it's, it's a decent size. I wonder how close to this I can get. I don't know whose hole that is, but I don't want to go in it. And there's more over there. <laughs> Might be a snake, I think. I think they do that. Um, but anyway, look at all this water. You hear the birds? And if you get close to the pond, there are a million little frogs that hop in and around. So I have um, a Catholic background to a degree and then everything else under the sun. <laughs> uh, so what you're seeing now are the Stations of the Cross on these beautiful stone, I think they're called grottos. <laughs> I don't have all the right verbiage. Um, but then you guys who have been following me for a while know that I never do have the right verbiage, so no surprise. They're so beautiful. And each one has a little plaque. I mean, like, can you tear stuff like this down? I don't like, and I don't know how old these are, but I feel like it's got to be somewhat historic. Like, can we get a historical marker on these? I'll show you the lake from a different angle, too. And there's, there's actual statues out in the lake, too. You can see the upkeep has not been fantastic. Um, but just the fact that they're not completely overridden with weeds says something. Like, they are being cared for to a degree. Here's a big statue. There's also these pillars, which I'm assuming once held plaques about what was happening here. I'm not sure if any of this is supposed to bloom. It looks like it, but I, I don't really do flowers. He's massive. And there's a squirrel. Hi, squirrel. He's trying to hide. There he is. <laughs> That's my excitement. I mean, these are full life-size statues, if not bigger than life-size. I think this lady might be bigger than me. Oh my gosh, I just came closer to see how tall I am compared to her. And they've got the same stonework. So this is even with my eyes. So no, we're about the same height. <laughs> so yeah, life-size statues. I believe, from what I've heard, there are monks that live in that building. I could be wrong. I don't really know. You can see the grottos kind of continue. Some of the trees have been cut. Looks like that one's been held up. Look at this archway. Could you not see weddings happening right here with this big arch? Okay, so we need to do some landscaping. I want I'm, <laughs> I'm making plans. I want to do some landscaping. I want to take care of that. There are signs that say that it's closed to the public after dark, but since it's, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon, I think we're okay. okay. Here's another example. 
the stonework, and then the statue, an angel, and I'm assuming Jesus. It's, it's just striking, especially with the light. One fun thing about vlogging is that you talk to yourself a lot and I don't look around very much because if I see somebody, I'll probably chicken out and be like, oh, that's weird, I'm talking to myself while I'm looking at the statue and admiring it and being like, oh, the light, it's so beautiful. I walk away and there are two people sitting in lawn chairs behind me. <laughs> Super fun. So let's go scare some frogs. Okay, you ready? As I get closer, they're gonna start jumping. There they go. <laughs> Hey guys, so obviously this is not the same day as when I filmed it. You can tell outside it's not even as nice depending on who you are. I am loving this cool weather. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Um, I found some more information about what I just keep calling the monastery because that was what we heard growing up was let's go run the monastery or whatever. Um, so this is actually called the Lord's Friary. Uh, it was built in the 1920s originally as a hotel. It had like a big building out front. That I think is the building that was built to be a hotel. Um, it was demolished in 2012. There are 61.4 acres <laughs> like in the monastery, which is crazy because you see a very small amount of it up front. Um, and it's on sale right now for $3 million. So it spent 80 years as the Lord's Friary. So what this basically means is you have this essentially historic site where all of these different events have taken place. The main building, like I said, was torn down in 2012, but right now what's left is still like, I want to say that there's rooms there. There's a dining room inside a big brick building. There's all of these stone grottos. They are gorgeous, uh, as well as all the monuments around the property. There's the pond, which is a lake. <laughs> I don't know the correct term. Um, here's my concern. So my concern is property in Cedar Lake right now is selling and houses are being built like at an insane level. These are record breaking levels for housing permits. And while I can understand that the tax dollars are good and that people are being employed, we're losing a lot of our green space. We're losing a lot of space that we used to have for our children to run off and slam doors while we're in the middle of talking. <laughs> um, we used to have a lot more options. We used to have a lot more scenery and now we're getting cookie cutter houses. I really believe that this 61 acres should be left or something, maybe like a bed and breakfast where you can leave those monuments, you can leave those statues. Uh, the main building could still be used as like a dining hall. You could still have groundskeepers. You could still have like housekeeping you could have employee residences within that building. And then maybe on that 61 acres, put a couple little cabins up. You know, there's so many options. There's so much potential. And I just really, really don't wanna see all of that beauty gone for more houses. But I am hoping that somebody who has the financial means and a good heart will see this video and they will see that property and they will decide this is worth the investment. I would love to see that property sold to somebody who is going to make it a bed and breakfast or like I said earlier, maybe the Shillings who already have the Shrine of Christ's Passion in St. John or the Jesus Park as Caroline and I call it. If you'd like to see more on that, scroll through the videos, 
there are videos there and then COVID hit or we were gonna do more, but we'll probably be back now that it looks like we won't be sweating as much outside. Um, but yeah, if you know anybody with the means, <laughs> it would be a great piece of property, I think, for an event planner, for something like that. Anywho, that is the monastery in Cedar Lake, Indiana, uh, the Lord's Friary, as it's actually called. Uh, $3 million and it's all yours wish I had three million dollars. All right, so that is it for this impromptu video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you will go out and check out the grounds. They're open to the public during the day and you just pull in. There's a little bit of parking here and there inside and go walk the grounds. Check it out for yourself uh, and see who you know. Share the video. Let's see if we can get this in the hands of somebody who has the means to save it and to do something really powerful with it. All right, until next time, thanks for being here.